deleted scenes from 2001 of Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick's 1968 masterpiece had some scenes and shots cut from the final version due to pacing issues. They are shots of Frank Poole jogging in the centrifuge, more shots of Poole, this time of him in a spacewalk before he is killed, missing shots from the Dawn of Man sequence in order to better establish a narrative, a scene where HAL 9000 severs radio communication before the discovery and Poole's pod before killing him, and a sequence of shots showing Dave Bowman searching for parts to fix his antenna. No new info was known about any surviving footage until December 2010. Many articles reported on the fact that all 17 minutes of cut footage was found in a salt mine located in Kansas. Now while it technically is found, Warner Brothers has not decided to release them yet, and it doesn't seem like they will, but maybe in the future they'll release all the footage. Adventure Time Mathematical this was the cancelled version of the Season 3 episode, What Was Missing. The released episode centers around our main characters having a prized possession stolen from them by the Door Lord, who escapes. He locks himself behind a large magic door, which can only be opened by the singing of a genuine band. It was the show's first hint at a former relationship between Marceline and Princess Bubblegum, which would be developed more in later seasons. The cancelled version of this episode was set to fully focus on the romantic relationship between the two, which was seen as slightly controversial. The only footage of this episode that exists is a 30 second clip shown in a behind the scenes video called Mathematical. It was a promotional video that would soon be removed by Frederator's own Fred Seibert, who issued an apology that it would soon be re-uploaded, but the full version of the episode is yet to be seen. It wasn't until a couple years later when Marceline's own voice actor Olivia Olsen would confirm the former relationship. This would lead to the show's finale in 2018, where the two would finally kiss on screen. However, this part was cut in several countries. Bionicle Legends of Mata Nui Bionicle is a LEGO theme that began in 2001. It started the company's use of construction figures, which continued over the years. The series was a fan favorite among many adult LEGO fans, but I personally never got into them. Of course, the toy line had many tie-ins, especially with movies, books, and video games. One of them was called Legends of Mata Nui, and was to be released the same year Bionicle came out. It would have you play as all six of the Toa Mati, so these guys. You would battle against the Rahi while exploring parts of the island. It ended up being cancelled due to a game ruining glitch being found. The glitch would not let you complete the first level, so that along with the low budget gave this game the boot. The only seen parts of it are various screenshots and some gameplay. Oh, and some copies were to contain the Mask of Time, which instead were given out as promotional items. Here's what one of them looked like. Early Demos from Red House Painters In 2011, a rare interview was found by this band's lead singer, Mark Kozelik. What was so interesting about it is that it was filmed in 1988, way before the band apparently formed in 1991. One of the biggest things revealed in the interview besides that was the existence of their earlier material. It contained two songs from their original studio forms, along with several acoustic versions of early songs. Another collection of their earlier songs was referenced by Mark, which he resents fully and doesn't seem to want to release it. The only thing we know about these songs is that they have a familiar style to the Smiths, a famous English rock band. So for now, the only way to hear the older songs from Red House Painters is through Mark himself, who is hesitant about releasing them, or if someone can find them and dump the recordings online. Removed Filthy Frank Videos It's your boy, you won't get some of this dick. Before becoming the famous R&B singer known as Joji, George Miller was known as the famous yet crazy YouTuber. He was Filthy Frank, a character that dates back all the way to the late 2000s. He was known for his politically incorrect humor and goofy antics, which got him millions of subscribers over the years. But some of these videos were removed for various different reasons. It seems that most of them have been found in some way, but some are hard to come by. It is speculated that due to Ask Filthy Frank number 4 being available, that part 3 must exist. But the only known proof of this are a reported source filmmaker animation with some parts of it and a Lithuanian subtitled version. Filthy compilation number 4 and number 5 are set to exist due to number 6 being available. Of course, most other taken down videos can be found due to re-uploads. An interesting case of this would be Joji Vlogs. This was a new channel he made in May 2014, to be separate from his persona. 
George would upload a total of 10 vlogs to it, but didn't continue due to comment spamming. He then took them down and wished for no re-uploads, but years later, they can easily be found. Oh, and for those wondering, I plan on doing a separate video in which I dive deeper into George's history, so expect that to be next. The Original Version of Pygmalion King of the Hill was a popular animated series that ran on Fox from 1997 to 2010. It's usually humorous, but one episode stands up for being the opposite. It's the Season 7 episode titled Pygmalion, which was first aired on January 12, 2003. However, the episode was originally going to air in Season 5 as sort of a Halloween special. But Fox kept holding the episode back for an unspeculated reason, most likely due to how dark it is. But apparently the original ending was even darker. It centers around Trip Larson, a deranged pork farmer, played by Michael Keaton, who falls for Hank's niece, Luane. Morbidly, the episode ends with Trip falling and being impaled, off-screen, of course. We see Peggy and Luane remorsing, and it ends there. But in the rumored original version, Trip's body is shown after the incident. Now, this is more of an urban legend than lost media, but the idea seems realistic enough since Fox tried to ban the episode before it aired. King of the Hill is an adult show, however, it's definitely not as violent as shows like Family Guy, so it stands out. Ted Danson's Controversial Performance On October 8, 1993, Cheers actor Ted Danson went on stage at the Friars Club Comedy Roast. This was after the divorce of his first wife, Randall Dawson, because he was having an affair. Who was he having an affair with? Well, none other than Whoopi Goldberg, who Ted won over at this roast. He went on stage in full blackface and made jokes that many deemed offensive. People of color were especially outraged over his routine. But you want to hear the big plot twist about this? Later on, it was revealed that Whoopi was the one who wrote most of the material. She cited that it was supposed to be making fun of racist people, which didn't work out at all. Ted was hit by large amounts of negative backlash over this, but his fans still wanted to see their performance. They are unable to as no footage has shown up anywhere. It is said that the routine was filmed, but they might have been eventually destroyed. Ted is ashamed of this and wishes for the footage to never be found. The only visual proof of this are several images taken on that October night. Ernest Hemingway's Lost Work While living in Paris, Ernest was a foreign correspondent for the Toronto Star. In fall of 1922, he was directed to live in Switzerland in order to write about the peace conference in Geneva. His wife Hadley stayed home due to a cold, which she took care of herself, but once she felt better, she decided to join her husband in Switzerland. Hadley thought it was a good idea to bring a bag filled with Ernest's work in progress so he could impress the Lincoln Steffens. All of his manuscripts were packed up in a suitcase and carried with her to the train station. Once she boarded, stowing her luggage away, she stepped away to buy water, but once she came back, the case containing Ernest's work was gone. It had been stolen, and to this day we still have no idea who did it. The most famous lost work contained was his reported novel about World War I, which he never attempted to rewrite. The only pieces that survived were Up in Michigan and My Old Man, due to other copies being available. Hadley and Ernest would divorce five years later. Post Malone's Magic Music Video In 2015, before he took off in popularity, Malone had videos up on a YouTube channel belonging to FKI First. This is its older producer, who deleted the channel. One of the videos on it was a music video for an unreleased song called Magic. The song itself is found due to user Massacre uploading it on October 30th, 2017. Put a bitch out the hat, yeah that's magic. And I got a lot of bitches at my match. Molly Stogie's gas and some matches. A few, only a few, mentioned the existence of the music video for it in the comments, which was said to be uploaded sometime in 2014. Recently, one commenter uploaded a link to an Instagram post dating back to September 2nd, 2014. The account was called Sauce Lord Rich, for those wondering. It's not that long and it's more of a behind-the-scenes post, but it seems legit. All other attempts have not succeeded yet to finding the video, but some still do remember parts of it. One user even mentioned that part of it takes place in a kitchen. Seeing who chose Manifesto. This was the man who committed the Virginia Tech massacre that occurred on April 16, 2007. 
The event happened on the campuses of Virginia Polytech Institute and the State University in Blacksburg, Virginia. At the time, this was the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, done by a single individual. Cho had shown past signs of violent behaviors and thoughts, which caused concern for some, but things were already too late for him. Before the shootings, he sent a large media package to NBC. Not only did it contain his manifesto, but also tons of writing, 30 or so minutes of personal recordings, and dozens of photos. NBC only released 2 minutes and 25 seconds of the tape, with the rest being hidden from the public. For four harrowing hours today at Virginia Tech, site of the worst mass shooting in American history, terror and disbelief, it was all happening again. Just afternoon, shots ring out as a campus policeman is conducting a routine traffic stop. Discovered Blaming on Jorge content. So it's pretty obvious that I love Blaming on Jorge, or George as many refer to him as. He's been on YouTube since 2013, but a lot of his older content is lost. Now I personally don't blame him on this one, get it, but some of his 2015 videos have been of bigger interest, and two of them were found by, well, me. So the first one is his list of disturbing deep web videos. Now when I started YouTube, I was in contact of a user named Ion Productions, who sent it to me through Google Drive. I had it unlisted for a while, but I made it public. For now, I have it uploaded to my second channel. The other video was seemingly harder to find. It was a list about sleep phenomena, and it was lost due to one of the entries featuring copyrighted footage from a documentary. For years, barely any traces of it were online besides small proof. But in July 2020, a YouTuber named Content in Quotes DM'd me on Instagram with the new info he had found, along with a Go file link. I was able to download it and save it on a Google Drive. I then uploaded a trailer of sorts with the link in the description, and boom, it has been found but we still don't know what the original thumbnail was.